power line goes all the way to the water plant. All the way to the lake that way. So when it goes that way, just let it go. You got a 12 volt battery that runs a, a fuel pump, like it's on your car. Uh -huh. It'll push the fuel through to this torch, and this is a wick. It stays lit. And once we turn the pump on, it'll, it'll light the stream and it'll shoot out about four or five feet. I think we can run with that. Percy Priest Wildlife Management Area is on fire. Control burn, prescribed fire, whatever you want to call it, is not a one-man job. Every precaution is made to make sure that this fire stays controlled. We've got uh, three other guys coming today to work with me. Uh, all of them are proficient with fires. Uh, we're going to have one, two, three, four, probably five ATVs with, with water sprayers on the back. We'll burn as big an area as we can burn and control the site. First of all, you have to get a permit from the Tennessee Department of Forestry. They're not going to give it if the wind's too high or if the humidity's too low because it's very difficult to control a fire if either one of those is the case. In advance, we've taken a, a disc, gone around the fields, and gone down to bare dirt. Most of our fire breaks are from, from 10 to 15 feet wide. The fire break is to keep it where we want it. All we're going to be doing when we light the fire is light it so that the fire burns into itself. If it burns into itself, then it just dies right out. You might be asking yourself why. Why burn these fields? Why burn these wooded areas? Benefits of wildlife are getting native vegetation growing back, which is what they're used to feeding on. The woody vegetation is gone. If it gets too woody, then it's not preferred by quail, rabbit. The early succession allows for turkey nesting. Early succession has better quality insects than a wooded area does. And the, the poults of turkey, young quail, they have to have animal vegetation, in other words, insects, to grow. Once they become adults, they can live primarily off of just vegetation. Another reason for burning is uh, people that may bush hog a lot, all that bush hogging does is layers and layers and layers of duff pile up on the ground and that prevents the sun from getting to the ground which prevents the natural seeds in the soil from germinating. So if we get a burn like we really want, we kill the woody vegetation and also get rid of that duff so that the sun can get to the seeds for their germination. Everything's looking real good. We've got, of course, the road on this side for a fire break, and Glenn has dissed up the back side, and it's burned in 30 to 40 yards from each one of the fire breaks, and so there's nowhere it can go. A lot of times humidity will go up towards evening, and once it gets above 60%, it's, it's pretty difficult to burn. So we will burn as much as we can. Hopefully, we can get 100 acres in, and that would be very successful. Because three weeks ago, we never dreamed in a million years we'd ever burn this year. Yeah, you're not, you're not going to have a, a carpeted, clean field when you're done. Your goal is not necessarily to, to burn it all down to ashes. Your goal is to kill it so it doesn't leak back out. Because if you look in there, it was the sun shining. The sun still can get through that vegetation to the ground and allow some of the seed to, to germinate and yet the standing dead vegetation will protect rabbit, quail, small, small animals from aerial predators trying to get to them. So it, it's a win-win situation. It's a good, good burn.